Bilateria, Wikipedia article audio. Triploblasts Lancaster, 1973. The Bilateria slash EOEBAELE trademark ETE trademark RIE trademark slash or bilaterians, or triploblasts, are animals with bilateral symmetry, i.e., they have a head and a tail as well as a back and a belly. Therefore they also have a left side and a right side. Body Plan Evolution The Bilateria are a major group of animals, including the majority of phyla but not sponges, nadarians, placosoans and tenophores. For the most part, bilateral embryos are triploblastic, having three germ layers, endoderm, mesoderm, and ectoderm. Nearly all are bilaterally symmetrical, or approximately so, the most notable exception is the echinoderms, which achieve near-radial symmetry as adults, but are bilaterally symmetrical as larvae. Except for a few phyla, bilaterians have complete digestive tracts with a separate mouth and anus. Some bilaterians lack body cavities, while others display primary body cavities or secondary cavities. The typical bilaterian body can be imagined as a cylindrical form, with the gut running between two openings, the mouth and the anus. Around the gut it has an internal body cavity, a chylome, or pseudocellum. Animals with this bilaterally symmetric body plan have a head and a tail as well as a back and a belly, therefore they also have a left side and a right side. Having a front end means that this part of the body encounters stimuli, such as food, favoring cephalization, the development of a head with sense organs and a mouth. The body stretches back from the head and many bilaterians have a combination of circular muscles that constrict the body, making it longer, and an opposing set of longitudinal muscles, that shorten the body, these enable soft-bodied animals with a hydrostatic skeleton to move by peristalsis. They also have a gut that extends through the basically cylindrical body from mouth to anus. Many bilaterian phyla have primary larvae which swim with cilia and have an apical organ containing sensory cells. However, there are exceptions to each of these characteristics, for example, adult echinoderms are radially symmetric, and certain parasitic worms have extremely simplified body structures. The hypothetical most recent common ancestor of all bilateria is termed the herbolaterion. The nature of the first bilaterion is a matter of debate. One side suggests that achylomates gave rise to the other groups, while the other poses that the first bilaterion was a silimate organism and the main achylomate phyla have lost body cavities secondarily, or the trochea by Nielsen. Phylogeny The first evidence of Bilateria in the fossil record comes from trace fossils in Ediacaran sediments, and the first bona fide bilaterian fossil is Kimberella, dating to 555 million years ago. Earlier fossils are controversial, the fossil Vernonimulcula may be the earliest known bilaterian, but may also represent an infilled bubble. Fossil embryos are known from around the time of Vernonimulcula, but none of these have bilaterian affinities. Burrows believed to have been created by bilaterian life forms have been found in the Tacuara Formation of Uruguay, and are believed to be at least 585 million years old. There are two main lineages, superphyla, of Bilateria. The deuterostomies include the echinoderms, hemichordates, chordates, and a few smaller phyla. The protostomes include most of the rest, such as arthropods, annelids, mollusks, flapworms, and so forth. There are a number of differences, most notably in how the embryo develops. 
In particular, the first opening of the embryo becomes the mouth in protostomes, and the anus in deuterostomies. Many taxonomists now recognize at least two more superphyla among the protostomes, ectososo and spiralia. The arrowworms have proven difficult to classify, recent studies place them in the Nathifer. Evolutionary Origin A modern consensus phylogenetic tree for Belateria is shown below although the positions of certain clades are still controversial and the tree has changed considerably between 2000 and 2010. It is indicated when approximately clades radiated into newer clades in millions of years ago. Nadaria A Euro Proarticulata Zenitur Bellata Notes Nemerdidermatida Acola Cephalochordata Uricordata Craniata Echinodermata Hemichordata A Eurocambroernita A Eurosaccharidus coronarius A Eurovetulocystids A Eurovetulocolians Nematoda Nematomorpha Lorisifer Onychophora Tardigrada Arthropoda Priapulida Kinarinka Rotifera and allies Ketognatha Platyhelminths and allies Mollusca Anelida and allies a Euro Kimberella. The original Belateria are hypothesized to be a bottom dwelling worm with a single body opening. <laughs>